Right guys, welcome back to the channel. This is the rear beam from my Mark 6 Fiesta, which today we're gonna to be removing the bushes, giving it a clean up, paint, rust proof, all that sort of stuff. And then we'll put it back on the car. Uh, the reason for doing this um, is because you see a lot of Fiestas these days where either the mounting point here or the beam itself actually gives way and then it falls out of the car completely. So it's just a bit of preventive maintenance really. Plus also, I've been putting off these rear axle bushes for ages. I'm actually amazed they've never come up on the MOT because they are shot. So yeah, basically we're gonna be doing that today. So first of all, um, I'm gonna take these bushes off and then give her a clean. So let's get on with it. First, I'm using a 15 millimeter socket and a 19 millimeter spanner to take off the pivot bolts. And as you can see, they are extremely tight. Next, I'm using a wire brush to give the axle a clean, getting all the crusty rust and mud off it. This is the actual after a clean. I then remove the ABS wiring. These can be a bit diff difficult and delicate, so be careful. Time for more wire brushing. I suppose all this cleaning is technically weight reduction. Next, using a press that can be purchased off eBay for £20 because I'm a cheapskate, I press out the bearings. A little more wire brushing than sanding off the bush hole. That's <laughs> cheeky. Then shove the coo rust all over this bad boy. Once it's dry, I spray the rear axle with an underbody seal. The axle is looking fresh. More bush hole sanding. Ooh, new car parts, shiny. I have no idea what's going on here. I'm then able to push the new bush into the mount.
these bushes are really going to stiffen up this back end for more accurate handbrake turns. I then put the pivot mount back on, slide the bolt in, and do it up. I've been told to shove a 32mm, weirdly precise, block of wood under the mount and then torque it, as this is what another video I watched said to do. Right guys, I don't know how much you can see, but the beam is back on, not too much bad of a job, just a reverse of the actual, uh, taking it off, yeah, um, no, you can't really see the bushes from here, even if I zoom, I'm um, just going to see if I can get around the side, so there we go guys, a bit more clearer, you can actually see the bushes there, doing their job, um, they feel amazing and they look cool as well, <laughs> which is the main part. Hello, Leroy. Just want to give my cat a shout out there, Leroy, for the most amazing transition opportunity. <laughs> that was amazing. Uh, so, guys, um, it's been about 300 miles since I did the uh, rear axle bushes, done lots of driving on different types of roads, motorway tight corners lanes all that they feel amazing it's not something you notice immediately with low speed driving i mean i noticed the fact there's not any more like rattles and clonks from the back end i've, I've done the suspension as well new spring and new shocks all that um but the thing i noticed more is the fact that in the corners the back end doesn't feel like it's sort of tipping onto one side and that's because obviously the bushes are now solid they're not like rolling around inside all the rubber and and completely sort of shot to bits so yeah that's the main thing i've noticed but so i definitely recommend 100 pounds uh spending on the rear axle which is definitely uh one of the more better mods i've ever done um as always guys uh thank you for watching hope you found the um last couple of videos interesting on doing these rear axle bushes they've definitely definitely made a difference to the car i recommend them doing on your fiesta mark sixes just for longevity and obviously the performance of road handling uh if you guys don't forget to subscribe to the channel uh don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed it and as always keep modifying those cars and i will see you in my next video